Hey everyone, welcome back to Slide Uplift. Today, we're crafting an awesome animated case study PowerPoint template with four slides. Picture this. A line spins from the center, vibrant blues, greens, and reds pop on screen, and isometric illustrations tie it all together with smooth morph animations and zoom effects. It's fresh, modern, and sure to wow your audience. Short on time? Grab our pre-made template linked in the description and use code SLIDE10 for 10% off. All right, let's get started with a blank slide in PowerPoint. First, head to the Insert tab, click Shapes in the Drawing section, and select a rectangle. Draw it across your slide. Now, right-click the rectangle, choose Format Shape, and on the right-hand panel, go to Gradient Fill. Set the type to radial and tweak the direction so it flows from the center. This is just a quick test of PowerPoint's gradients. Feel free to play with rectangular or path types too. But once you're done, delete the rectangle. We're moving to Figma for the next step. Open your browser, search for Figma, and head to their website. If you're not signed in, go ahead and log in now. Once you're in, click New Design File. In the toolbar, select the Frame tool, and on the right, under the Presentation Options, pick the 16-9 ratio. In the Layout section, set the width and height to 2,000 pixels. Zoom in by clicking the percentage near the Share button and selecting Fit to see everything clearly. Now, click File, open the Custom window, and head to the Gradient section. Switch it to Linear, then select Angular. You'll see a cool line effect forming in the middle. Select the first gradient stop, set the color to white, and drop its transparency to 0%. For the second stop, pick white too, keeping it subtle. Export this by opening the Export section, selecting PNG, and downloading it. Let's get back in PowerPoint. Go to Insert Pictures This Device. Find your PNG file and insert it. Zoom out, resize the PNG to fill the slide, and rotate it slightly. If you spot empty corners, don't worry, we'll fix that. Go to Insert Shapes, grab a circle, and draw it over the slide. Center align it. Right-click and open Format Shape. Set the fill to white with 100% transparency. Then stretch the circle to cover the slide fully. Select both the PNG and Circle. Hold Shift, go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, Intersect, and boom, your PNG is now a perfect circle. Let's tweak it further. Now add a color, we are going with blue. Select the circle, head to Picture Tools, Picture Corrections, and set Brightness to minus 70% and Contrast to 100%. Now. Grab your title text from your content file, paste it on the slide, double-click to select it, and switch the font to Poppins. Increase the size and rotate it to sit on the left side. Next, insert a logo by going to Insert Pictures, This Device, picking your logo file, and placing it in the top left corner. Copy your header text from the content file, paste it, and style it with poppins and a bigger, bold size. For the main content, go to Shapes, pick a rounded rectangle, and draw it on the slide. Paste your first topic and description inside, adjust the text size, and set the shape outline to white with a thicker width.
fill the rectangle with white at 90% transparency for that fresh look. Add a number placeholder, set it to Poppins, make it bold, and align it. Then, draw a small circle from shapes, remove the outline, fill it with blue, and place it near the rectangle. Insert an icon. Insert pictures. This device. Resize it, place it in the circle. and set its brightness to the icon in circles, control plus G. Then align everything with the rectangle and number text. Duplicate this group, control plus shift plus drag. Hit F4 to repeat. And update the numbers, headers, and descriptions from your content file. For new icons, right-click the existing one, select Change Picture, this device, and swap it out, keeping brightness at 100%. Group everything on the slide, Control plus G. Now do additional designs. Add a vector illustration. Now for the animation. Select the background circle, go to Animation Spin. And in Effect Options, choose Clockwise and Full Spin. Under Timing, set the duration to 10 seconds and repeat until the end of the slide. Apply a line motion path from Animation's Motion Paths. Set it to Up and tweak the red dot to adjust the distance. In Effect Options, check Auto Reverse, set the duration to 3 seconds, and repeat until the slide ends.
duplicate the slide, Control plus D. Tweak the background color via Format Background Solid Fill More Colors. Try Hex Hash 7986 FF. Then darken it slightly. And update the content for slide 2. Adjust circle colors to match the vibe. Swap the vector with a new one if needed. Repeat this process for all four slides. Finally, select all slides in the slide bar, shift plus click, go to Transitions Morph, and set the timing to transition after 3 seconds. Hit Slideshow to see the seamless flow. Those morphs and spins tie it all together. And there you have it! An eye-catching, animated case study PowerPoint template. That spinning line, vibrant colors, and morph transitions will definitely level up your presentations. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you in the next one!